now. There was some bat on that. Yeah, it wasn't uh, that far away from the wicket keeper. It went very fine. I think it comes off the middle of the bat almost. It gets across, goes with it, turns the face, and it's actually quite safe. It's fences. Almost off the face of the bat, the way he rolls it. Well, that's uh, the England captain's great strength, really. If you flip off his hip, a few players play that as well as Cook. Just increasing confidence with every innings that he played. I thought the first innings at Durham was as well as he's played for England. Yeah, and he deserved his chance. And he's taken it, he's taken it well. Just as we say that they've not strayed onto leg side, they do, and he goes for four. Can't afford to get that one that's too straight on his pads. Looks like Alex Howe's got even a bit further across there because that first ball swung. He's been trying to play the ball a little bit later and he just got a big... And I think the bowler got sucked in. Punch down the ground. The ball going to win? Yeah, I think it is. That'll be four races down the hill, just too straight again. That's a boundary. 50 partnership, the first opening partnership of 50 or more in the series by either side. Yeah, good signs for England here. Alistair Cook, as we said earlier, looks nice and calm and looks in super touch. Hales is looking good too. 50 partnership here, the sun's shining, it's a good pitch. Finally runs since the drinks, and that's a very, very sweet extra cover drive from uh, Alistair Cook. It's a very delightful shot from Alistair Cook in control. Sri Lankans wouldn't be disheartened by this. I mean, he's chasing that ball, fifth, sixth off stump. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. The move has worked. There's a bit of flight. There's a little bit of grip here. And more importantly, it's a bit of bounce. A couple of times he's got it very fine today. The, the fine leg is quite wide, actually, almost protecting the short boundary. I think that's edged. I think that is an edge. It is. And Nick Compton's poor season continues. Just 11 balls, just a solitary run. And maybe he was thinking about the short ball. He was very late coming forward. It was almost like an afterthought, the drive. Good length for Lords, ball full. Get the batsman driving. Now, that's close. They may review this. It was very full. Root was looking to hit it very square. And the issue here is... Whether it was just sliding down or not, I reckon Matthews will review this. It's root. Yeah, not surprised. Yes, happy for that. Go for the hockey board tracking. Broad impacting line and hitting the stumps. You need to reverse your decision. Celebrations are already underway from the Sri Lankan team. Way a couple here at least, and that'll bring up Alistair Cook's 50. It's come from 89 deliveries, six fours. Got it through. That's four. A little bit of width. James is quite happy and feels quite confident to play the shot. Not a half volley, but it's four. Oh, that hit the stumps. I don't think he's absolutely sure, Vince. He has to go, though. I heard the sound. 
It was definitely a noise. I was thinking that looking for the nick, and it's, I think it's, you're right, Mikey, it's just clipped the top of the stump. It's just done it. It's just clipped, literally clipped the top of off stump. Yeah. Off the mark. He'll get four for that as well. So much bit of timing. 88 for four. That's four. Paddy knew that immediately he saw the ball hit the middle of the bat. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Ranger at mid wicket, person in form, and that's what often happens after a drop. Fielder has to chase and get the ball back. Driven away, save your legs at Lords, that'll be four. Bairstow now 19 off just 18 deliveries, 110 for four. He's punched that away, found all the gaps, all the spaces he needs. He hit that with uh, decent power, real power. Was in the air, but uh, it was in space. Four runs. Low arm from Harath. The angle across the left-hander. And the angle just opening up the opportunity for the shot. Well, that's true. One of those ones where you know as a batsman you just don't need to move. Oh, in the air. Oh, just wide of the gully. I think that's going to race away for four. Yeah, it is streaky. Once again, we're just talking about Pradeep, how well he's bowled and is not really getting the rewards. Oh, close. Gets a long way across. Yeah, he's given him. He's giving him, that's what we said. We just said that he's actually gone around there. He's going to attack the stumps a bit more just before the break. Now, is Cook going to review this one? It looked pretty close. No, he's not. He's decided not to. Even he feels like it was pretty close. And Bairstow said, yeah. And Sri Lanka needed it too. Just tailed in a little bit. Cook gets a long way across. Actually, a very, very good decision. Around the wicket's normally pretty hard to get this, but it comes comes in from that angle and then it just starts to straighten hits him right in line it's like it's perfect from around the wicket it hits him in line it's going on to hit middle stump halfway three quarters of the way up big shot again i think that might be slipping down leg though oh <laughs> those could be some extra runs now for england Is it just about trickle into the boundary yes And then, as usual, the bowler gets punished. How many times have we seen that? Yeah. 50 for Bearstow. Couple of opportunities to get rid of him, but a pretty aggressive half century that from him. Wait. Got it through. No need to run. Big appeal again, going down the slope. I think he wants his captain to ask the third umpire to get involved here. Iranga say, yes, I want to have a look at this. Here we go, skipper. Impact in line. Umpire's call. Ravi, wait for the call. Stay with your decision. Are you on screen? Oh, that's more runs. <laughs> Good fortune again for Johnny Beers, too. Four more. There we go. It's a wonderful 
Beautiful shot from Moin Ali on the up. If at all, Ruan Pradeep touch wide. Especially. That's four. Besto, who uh, has moved to 67 now with that clubbed ball through the offside. He's not quite been at his best. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Lovely from Moen Ali. It's, uh, that lovely freedom that he has outside the off stump. Oh, Nick, oh, that's gone the other way. It's gone and just carried through, I think. Certainly been claimed. It's clever bowling. Herath has that ability to turn one, then let one drift. And this is what he's done here. He's let that one drift down the slope. And just carry on slightly down the slope. There goes the edge. Yes. Oh, it's easy. That's easy. It's a good catch. He's got it. It's a good catch. Exactly like that, as we were just saying about freeing up those arms. It's a lovely shot. Bowler's not, is only marginally out, maybe three, four, five inches. He's looking to score runs all the time. I think his, his mindset has changed as well with his uh, uh, changes which he has made to his technique. That's going to go all the way down the hill. No one catches it down that hill. It's just uh, not what you wanted, this Mahela. Another free hit for Walks. There's another England batsman who's an aggressive batsman. They will pounce on those deliveries. But how's that for timing? And almost took his partner out the other end. Well, there's four of them. Yeah! Square leg isn't up, and it is a first hundred at Lords for Johnny Bairstow in the form of his life. 100 already in the series at Headingley, and now a very special one at Lords. Don't want balls like that when you're feeling close to the bat on the offside. That's four. 285 for six. Don't think fine leg would get a chance to cut that off. He was very wide. Runs or leg buys. Let's see. Leg buys. Say umpire Ravi. Gonna run away. You won't catch that down the hill. Wokes going nicely. This partnership is getting better and better. This is what Sri Lanka cannot afford to do. All straight lines. Lovely. So there is a man out, but the placement from Bersto superb. Let it come, played it late, chopped it away behind square on the offside. 3.16 for six. That brought a ripple from the crowd, as well it might have done. Beautiful car drive brings his highest score in test cricket. That's the business area. When you're bowling at this end, which your anger is, you need a gully. A gully is in play, but there was no catcher there, and Chris Wokes has gone through to his first half century in Test cricket. It was a bit streaky, but it's a welcome boundary for him and a welcome 50. 51 not out now, his first in Test cricket. Pulled away in front of square. That's how much time he has. Top shot from Wokes, ninth boundary for him. 
Well, there's no huge pace in this surface. It was uh, pretty inviting, I'd say. Nonetheless, beautifully played. Good shot, good control, good wrists over the top of it. Nicely played. No third man. No movement, no risk for Bairstow. Four more. Brilliant placement. There are two uh, men at short extra cover for Bairstow. Had a little battle yesterday with Herath, and on a couple of occasions he threaded the ball through those two fielders, and he's done it again. Taken. Just chipped it back to Herath. And finally a wicket has come this morning. It's the left arm spinner Rangana Harath from over the wicket. Chris Wokes has just chipped it back to him. I think he got a little bit frustrated by the tactics here by Sri Lanka. Left arm over. Pitching outside leg stump. He padded away a few, but he thought, no, I've got to score. Tickled fine, and this will bring Bairstow 150. Career best score in Test cricket now for Johnny Bairstow. A little tickle down to the fine leg boundary. And he goes through to 152. It's nicely punched away off the back foot. He's a good time over the ball his problems yes but oh in the air and out gone straight to gully it was wide Stuart broad stayed leg side of the ball and Lakmal gets a wicket gets his third one and Sri Lanka desperately needed that broad looking to give himself a little bit of room and exploit the offside ah! oh that's got to be close that I think that'll be out yeah That was fast, that was straight, was going on to hit the stumps. England have reviewed this, but I don't think they're going to get any well, joy. Review for LW. Yes, Mr. Bert. Go for the ball tracking, please. Ravi impact in line, Ooh. missing the stumps. Wait for the call. Your screen. That's more like it, Stephen Finn. There we go. That's what I've been waiting for. That shot brings up the 400 in style. Yeah, he liked it. It was off the first tee, that one, Stephen Finn. Sent it up in the air and Finn's eyes lit up. Struck it nicely. Edged and gone past first slip. And rushes away for four. Round arm delivery, top edge, sweeper. Yes, I think he's got him. Finally, they grab hold of one. No review this time from Stephen Finn, he's gone. Managed to get the top edge and a very good running catch by Saranga Lakmal. Oh, has he nicked that? Yes, he has. Very faint edge through to the keeper. So England have been out, bowled out for 416. But Johnny Bairstow is left stranded on 167. What an innings it's been from Bairstow. He's in the form of his life. He came in again when England were in a bit of trouble. And he carries his bat through, not out at the end. A mammoth score of 167 in 251 deliveries. Away. And uh, you'll quickly learn batting at Lords that you don't have to run too much. That'll be four. A rare loosener from Jimmy Anderson, a bit short, wide. And Karatna was ready for that. Squirted away. Might chase that down because it's slightly up the hill in that direction. 
Oh, no, that's, uh, that's going to be given as four. So, uh, been smacked through the offside for Karuna Ratna's second boundary. I think anything short on this wicket has been punished the last five sessions, and it continues to do that. A very good shot from Karuna Ratna. That's solid. It's a good shot. Really good, solid shot. Real confidence build up. 23 without loss. That'll be four. It's a much better shot. A little bit fuller from Broad. I mean that he has to hold back when this one's on offer. And again, a reasonably wide delivery. But the lack of movement makes him a bit more confident about playing at balls that wide. Might uh, go away for four. I think it will. Fine leg very wide. And it just shows the skill of Jimmy Anderson. He can go at will, in swing, out swing, in swing. Don't have to run for those, Mr. Silver. That is flying to the fence. And it sat up nicely. He just said, hit me, and he did. It was a nice shot, though. Good balance at the crease. Nicely played. Played it late this time. It wasn't as wide as the previous ball, so he just helped it fine. And just one slip and two gullies for Wokes. But a fine edge. will run away to the third man fence for Another four, it's gone very fine. Moen Ali will give chase, but I'm not sure he'll cut it off. Four, it's gone fine. Bowling that sort of thing, bowling cutters. Where his record isn't as good is in South Africa, Australia, New Zealand. Well, I must admit, this is a really weird field. Looks like a bit of a slower ball he tried there, Jimmy Anderson. He's got an 8-1 feel. He's got eight men on the offside. With one regulation slip, a floater, a gully, a couple of catching covers and a deep point. Yeah, we said he wanted the gaps. He wanted one, three and five. I think that's gone between one and three. There's always going shot. That'll be four. There's always going to be a nick that's going to go through the slip somewhere. Well, I've had this argument with Beefy and Mike. Do you agree yeah. with this then? Like I one don't slip, a floater. I don't agree with it, but I don't agree with your um, maths either. There'll always be a gap unless you have five slips or six slips or seven slips. Hey, you'll take that. Single completes the 50. And well played indeed. And that'll do nicely for his 50. So in the same over, both openers go to 50. They both played well. No one's saying it's easy, but it's a big improvement of what we've seen from earlier in the series. But having said that, of course, conditions here at Lords have been very good for batting today, but you've still got to take advantage. So both men now on 50. Yes, they've got him at last. Might not have been quite textbook in the the way that the dismissal was planned. But there might have been no plan at all, but that little thin edge down the leg side and the sprawling catch from Johnny Besto means that England finally get the breakthrough. I think it's quite unlucky to be dismissed in this fashion, but still out. Well, Finn is down. He looks up now, he'll see that ball just nestling by the boundary rope. Oh, well, that's uh, well, in through the very big gap, wide of that uh, wide slip. Just like that. Oh, no. 
broad bowling, one of the great bowlers. Do you need a short mid on or do you need another catcher somewhere in there? Now what's the signal here? Runs. Chart. That'll be four. Just an over pitch and a bit too much width. Silvers have been in an aggressive mood right from ball one. That's his tenth boundary. And brings up the 150 for Sri Lanka. It's 150 for one. He got into trouble driving outside the off stump in the last two test matches, but this is his strength. You know, he loves doing that. Full face of the bat. Oh, that'll be four too. Just a little bit of width. Oh, it didn't quite nail it, but I think it'll still get there. Just a little bit of width, and it's a pretty short boundary. The ropes are in a long way up the hill there on that side. I said early, Nass, that the ball might dominate today. Oh, close, very close. Yes, given. Now, will he review it? Wokes yesterday, first ball. There was a drop. Wokes today, first ball. And I think he's just walking off. Bang, it was full, it was straight, it nipped back a little bit. Bang, that's absolutely plumb. You think that's going on hit middle leg and a perfect start for England and a perfect start for Wokes. Keep bowling it just there. Has he nicked it again? Yes, he has. Nine from nine, bowl the channel, find the edge, he'll nick it. And Besto takes the catch, 166 for three. This has been excellent partnership bowling from Wokes and Broad. They're giving absolutely nothing to the Sri Lankan batsmen. You saw the Silvers just starting to get a bit edgy. He's losing his patience, having a flirt outside the off stump, but it was good patience from the bowl, and that's what Test Match Cricket's all about. There you go. Wokes gets rewarded. A little bit of extra bounce. Comfortably taken. And Joe Root it's a big, big wicket. He never looked comfortable this morning. Probably bowled good lines to him that one probably had a bit more bounce open Angelo Matthews up oh! how close was that to going onto the stumps good first delivery got some four runs this is smart bowling he pushed it fuller got a bit of swing very tentative Dinesh Chandimal That's gone fine. That'll go for four. 82 then for four. To 62 overs. Good session for England. Just short of slip. I think that will carry all the way. A little bit wide and I think a little bit short of Joe Root as well. Finally. They have been kept on a leash so far, these Sri Lanka batsmen. One of those things for batsmen that you do get tied down. Sometimes you can miss out on the opportunity when it presents itself. Not this time. Nicely played. Didn't try and overhit that. Just use the pace. Late cut, back cut for four. Yeah, time nicely. Oh, out! That's out. That's fuller. That's absolutely plumb. Surely. It looks, uh, it looks out, doesn't it? No, oh, well, he's reviewing it. I think this might be optimistic. Mark, uh, review for LW. Oh. Can I see the on-site hotspot, please? Yes, can I go to the RTS, please? Yes, miss the bet. Please go to the board tracking, please. Ravi, impact in line and umpire's call. Wait for the call. You on screen, go ahead. Edge taken. Perfect for England, perfect for Finn. What a morning they're having. Five wickets in the session.
third for Finn, driving a length ball again, Sri Lanka. Straight to root. Punched away. Sure, Broad's going to get that. No, I'm backing the ball. Well, that's a big shot just before lunch. Gone a long way up and gone for four. Three balls to go before lunch, and he's teeing off. What lunch break? There you go, fetch that. That's the way he likes to play. A big, juicy full toss. First up from Finn, which gets slapped straight that back. Passed him down the ground by Gusel Pereira, who is a powerful player. Yeah, always wrong to come box. But Gusel Pereira wouldn't mind this after lunch. This is his natural game. He'll look to score runs. <laughs> now there's a lot of Jaya Saria in that shot. We're talking about the similarities between. Gusel Pereira and Sanath Jayasuri. It's the way the bat comes down, and you would think it will, should go through mid, mid on or mid wicket, but it's just the hands, how it works, and the power he generates. It's amazing. Um, it's only a matter of time before it was edged to this occasion, though safely for four. Terrific shot. Stand and deliver. Chaya Saria, they were talking about. That was very much one of Chaya Saria's shots. It's a bit of a shuffle and then the full, full face of the bat. Beautifully timed. Run away all the way up the hill. Excellent time. Yeah, wonderful timing. Watch how still Harath is here. It wasn't a classical front foot out, it was just a good eye. How good? Who thought the last shot was good? This is pretty good off the front foot. Oh, that's a great stroke. Raw tried to bang one in with that hard new ball, and Rath was having a big piece of it. This is good batting from Sri Lanka. This is good stuff. Down the gap. Stuart Broad not happy. Quick delivery from Stuart Broad. It was just a bit wide and a fraction full. Harath had a little dabble at it. And it was just went too fast, too high, nowhere near Alex Hales. You couldn't get in. Anything on that one. Yeah, they're just the ones you hope go to hand. Hopefully stick. A little bottom, bottom edge, I think, on that. No, oh, it's given us buys. It's a bit harsh on the keeper. It looked like he ducked and dived. I thought he'd hit it. Stuart Broad has found an inside edge. The inside edge has dragged that ball back onto the stumps. A bottom edge onto the stumps. Oh, he's clogged that. He just may see a bit of innovative stroke play now from Kusal Pereira. He knows that Eranga, Lakmal, Pradeep, those guys at the bottom of the order are not really going to be producing a lot. Swings it away with the Gusto again. The man has moved very square. Just the wrong line from Stuart Broad. Open up the possibilities. Ooh. Well, he's gone for the attacking option. The better ball was certainly two, three balls ago. But uh, Kusal Pereira, in attempting just to keep things ticking here, has just got a thin edge on this. Toe of the bat, probably. Right off the toe end of the bat. Nick and gone. Yeah, I think it's carried. It's Joe Root. The batsman stood there, but I think it's carried. Couldn't quite see if it was juggled or not. Front on, please. Yeah. Yeah, straight into the hands. 
Happy for that, yes. Uh, Ravi, it's a clean catch. Yeah, we just heard it's clean catch. We'll see that given out. It was an excellent catch from Joe Root. It was low to his right. He moved well. He got his hands comfortably underneath it. He got his fingers underneath it. Wokes into the attack and Nick first up and gone. James Vince has got it. That finishes the innings. Well done, Chris Wokes. First ball again. He likes his first ball. He got one this morning with his first cherry. He got another one coming back for a spell. He's having a bit of a giggle about it with Rod Tucker. Good presentation of the scene, Nick. And a comfortable catch. James Vince got a good pair of hands. Had a little look out, but he's generally got a good pair of hands. And Wokes has a smile and says, thank you. Well, that's a good shot, that. This is a bit too straight. That's going to go all the way for four. Nice start from Hales. Oh, there's another glorious shot. The intent's pretty clear here, England. Oh, that very good shot. Short outside the old stump. That got what it deserved. Witt was in a good position to whack that one. That was a freebie. Short and wide, and he gave it the kitchen sink. Raced the way to the boundary. That man has not started this spell very well at all. Good shot. No chance of putting that off. Nice shots to play. That straight drive, the on drive. Look at this. Beautiful balance, nice placement. Didn't try to overhit it. Hit it straight back from where it came from. Just a nice position. Excellent shot. Runs again. That will go all the way. Nicely punched off the back foot. Slightly up the hill in that direction. That the ball still wins. No ball. Pulled away and pulled well for four. In very similar fashion, pulling a short ball like this outside off stump, but this time he gets on top of it, gets into position quickly, rolls those wrists and keeps the ball down. Oh, has he edged that? Yeah, I think he has. Compton has nicked off. That uh, is a very good delivery. They've got their line right. And Nick, make, Nick Compton makes the long walk back to the pavilion. Yes, he got a start here for once, Compton, in this series, but as so often in this series, just pushing forward and... Oh, nearly dragged on. Nearly dragged on to his stumps. Could have been a double wicket made, and as it is, Joe Root still there. 49 for one. Bowling has kept slightly low. This is what cricket is all about. Can't do much about that. Just fuller length. Kept really low. Can't leave those alone. It's come back down the hill. It has moved off the seam, but that was always too close for comfort. Going down, like keeping low. I mean, it's it's hard for someone to leave the ball on, on length. Knowing how the wicket's going to play. Okay. Guided away by Johnny Besto. Played it really late. Good running. Oh, good shot. Well weighted on that, Johnny Besto. Excellent timing. Good placement. No way for four. Oh, that's gone. His back came across at an angle there. Don't think that one kept low. It was just a poor shot. And Johnny Bairstow's gone. Well, it's just a bad shot from Johnny Bairstow. I think he realises that puts his head down and walks. Oh, that's gone. That's gone off the edge, and Chandimal going to his left. Big gap between him and first slip. Pradeep deserved more than one wicket in that over. 
What an over it was, 107 for four. Edged between slip and gully. And will run away for four, so Alex Hales moves to 45. Side edge again, and again between gully and slip, and again, four is the result. And is deep, so a single for Alex Hales gives him a 50. Already has three in Test match cricket, now has a fourth. Doesn't have a hundred yet. But it's been a consistent series for him against Sri Lanka. He needed a good series just to cement his place, and he's played pretty well. Again, he gets that. Yes, the finger goes up this time. Finn just gets his front foot so far across and in line with the ball that he makes it very difficult for himself. Don't think he's going to waste a review on himself. Oh, no. No. No, you don't even turn around. You just keep walking with that one. That's absolutely salmon trout. Beaten point. Running away, so Cook's first boundary square the wicket on the offside. It's the reason that Pradeep's going around the wicket to try and cut off that width, but Alistair Cook is such a good player, he can create his own width. You don't have to be too wide at all. He stands upright. Driven away. Sweeper's not getting that. That's four. Pushing it wide, looking for that outside edge or the outer half of the bat. That is reasonably wide, but it's not doing enough into the fourth, the fifth over now of the innings. Played that comfortably. Good shot. Very good shot. Oh, that's uh, no ball, I think. It has bowled in. The umpire's called the no ball. And again, bowling from that pavilion end, there's signs of low bounce. We saw one for Joe Root. We saw one to Bairstow. And Hales has been saved by the front foot. Whoa, that is tight. That's extremely tight. It's out at the other end. He would have four. Another no ball. That would be four. Mr. Cook really enjoying himself at this number seven position. Short, wide balls like that. Christmas. Now that definitely is a no ball. Hales has hit that very sweetly. Good shot. That line just well, well outside leg stump. Hey, he's an excellent striker of the ball, Alex Hales. Now the sweep, just to really try and throw the spinner off. The one where you use your feet, the spinner goes a bit wide of leg stumps to try and fire into that rough. And Hales second guessed well, just helped it on its way, shuffled across, just shimmied across his stumps. Really good head position. Didn't try and hit it too hard. He got his head over the ball. Aye. Into the 90s. Low full toss from Harath. Hales has sweat profitably actually in the last half hour or so. Close. Oh, he's given him. The finger has gone up. Rod Tucker has given Alex Hales out on 94. Hales has reviewed. Can I see the onside hotspot, please? Yes, no hotspot. Uh, can I go for, for the artist, please? Okay. Is the bet. Please go for the ball tracking, please.
rod impact in line and empire's call wait for the call Screen. Umpire's call it is, and what a sad moment that is for Alex Hales. Missing out on a Test Match 100 again for the third time, really, in this series. Twice out in the 80s. He, he just ran the wrong way, actually. Fieldsman out at deep square leg. Either didn't quite see it, misread it. Once he'd set off in the wrong direction, he was done. Is it going to be caught? Yes. Herath settled under that and took it comfortably. Fair play from Owen Alley, putting the team ahead of personal milestones or statistics. Trying to get on with it. Oh, he got hold of that one. Really got hold of that one. It sounded good, his body shape was perfect. The 11th six in Test Match Cricket, Alistair Cook moves him to 48. Two thirty-three for Sib. Oh, they're running off. Alistair Cook has decided that England have enough runs on the board. They lead by 361 at the moment. And you're right, they didn't declare between an over, so they'll lose two overs, which means that Sri Lanka will have to bat for 12 overs, weather and light permitting. It's bright sunshine at the moment, so that shouldn't be a problem. It's a good shot. Just over pitch, put away. Perfect drive shot. Tries of shot go up all round the com box. It was very elegant. And well timed. That's a lovely shot. In control. Right the middle. All the way. And that'll be four. Onto that very quickly. Because if it goes through the uh, infield, it will go for four. Yeah, and that was a particularly good first delivery. Wide and got it. Yep, that'll be four. Just too much width from Jimmy Anderson. Full and wide. He's well, got four slips in there, Alistair Cook, and it's gone wide of him. Oh, that's got to be close. No shot off it. Yeah, good, de good delivery from Jimmy Anderson. It was the in-swinger. From Silva, that looked an excellent delivery. Set him up nicely. It went late. That's what he's saying, too. It really swung a lot and went late. Yep, he's reviewing this. We'll have a look at it. It was a good delivery from Jimmy Anderson, but it went really late. Ravi impacting line and hitting the stumps. Stay with your decision. Wait for the call. You on screen. Well done, Mark. Well done. Goes uh, away through the slip cordon, up the hill. That'll be a boundary. Tickled away, fine for four. That might be four more again. That won't make Jimmy Anderson happy. that quick quick bouncer Cuts. wept away high and into the mound stand I think that final shot from Mendes might be the last for the time being you can see there just in the background the rain heavy kind of drizzly rain has started to come in and the umpires have said enough is enough 